Hi everybody, beautiful blessings. I have been very drawn today to the energy and spherical oracle cards. Spirit has been coming through a lot this morning um, and much earlier today, so I kind of got the nudge to pick these up and maybe uh, do a little spread. Um, still new with these cards. I haven't worked with them as much, so I'm just getting the energy of these, but uh, what I have experienced with them is there's a lot of messages from the other side and a little bit of the energy that's going on here. So these are more messages from the guides and source, spirit, our loved ones. Just gonna clear the energy a little bit. I do have my crystals. I have my Lemurian crystal with me and a beautiful quartz heart. I also have a, a lovely uh, crystal that I had gotten at the beach. And that's been um, very, very strong holding the energy. I'm just gonna do a little sound. Uh, this kind of clears the space right before I do a reading, the sound energy. These are t the Tibetan bells and I do three. And that's for spirit, source, and soul. I would like to thank Spirit for bringing any messages today for the highest good. And I'm grateful for all the angels, guides, ancestors, and loved ones on the other side that are willing to work with us today and lift our hearts. I'm just gonna give a little shuffle. These are also very beautiful, beautifully done uh, artworks on the cards, okay? I'm just going to pick. They're telling me two. Usually I do three or one, but for some reason they, they're saying two, two, two. So we'll do that. I'm going to get two cards today. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to move them out a little bit. And the first card that's coming through is Currents of emotion, uncontrolled feelings. And you could see um, water always represents uh, our emotional uh, bodies, our, our, the movement. A lot of times when we dream about water or um, maybe our attention is drawn to an image like in the card, it has a lot to do with water and um, which is something emotional because water is so fluid and we, we tend to be that way. And that is card number 34. I'm going to read. The Raging River on this card. Let me just hold that up so you can see it. Okay, the Raging River on this card signals a time of great upheaval and strong, seemingly uncontrollable feelings. You may already be experiencing an emotional situation at work or in your family, or one may be coming your way. You can stave off the problem by taking a logical, objective approach. If you don't get swept away by high emotions, the situation can be short-lived. Perhaps these high emotions have been a way of life for a while. Chronic anxiety or depression can make you feel overwhelmed and get you seriously out of balance. This agitation reduces beneficial attraction for a raging river can only push things away. It's time to look at your reactions and establish a new way of doing things. Get some clarity about what's actually stimulating these strong feelings. Difficult emotions come from negative thoughts and misinformed beliefs. So calm down, vent your feelings in appropriate ways, and choose more positive thoughts that will allow you to take the action needed to honor your process and resolve things. So today's spirit is coming through. Um, it could be because 
we've had a lot of planets that were originally in retrograde and now everything is kind of going direct. We've had a, a, a big upheaval with that and, and it becomes very emotional. I also, um, I'm, I'm being reminded that we've, we've had a lot of loss and I, I've noticed a lot of my friends, especially on Twitter, have um, have had some loved ones cross over. And so everything has been very, very emotional. And we have to learn to allow that and process it. A lot of times, I know from experience, we all do. We all at some point are going to go through this. And that's part of our journey. And though we know it, to bury the feelings or um, put it on hold, sometimes we have to be in survival mode. Um, I know at the time when my husband was sick and I was his caretaker, uh, a lot of things weren't getting processed because I had to be right there. I had to be present. I, I couldn't let the emotions overwhelm me when he was needing things or... Um, you know, during the moments I, I have children that it was emotional for them. I had to be the strong one. And so sometimes we have to process those things a little bit later. And so um, basically what spirit is coming through and saying is that that's okay. There's no rules to this being emotional. But when the time is right, let it out. We don't have to be the tower strength. We don't have to carry on through that continuously because sometimes we have to curl up in a ball and cry or scream and be angry. The, the lightning is coming down and meeting the water. It's charging it. And sometimes that's just what we need to do. We need to go with that charge and we need to release it um, in whatever way we can, whether it's out in the woods, you go by the ocean, go for a drive, listen to music, write, paint, dance, whatever, sing. We have many, many outlets, and I think we all know at this point what gives us that emotional release. Okay, and the second card is Shamanic Healer, Cleansing Attunement. And I'm very, I have an affinity for the eagle, so this is a, a very powerful medicine. I'm going to read from the book. This is card number 17. And this is shamanic healer. And I, like I said, I can't help but be drawn to the eagle. The shamanic healer brings you beneficial energy and personal or professional news. Some form of healing is coming your way. If you're dealing with physical issues, the shaman is here to help. Difficulties of an emotional or psychological nature can be relied through your connection with this powerful spirit guide as well. Even community or Family, family concerns can be resolved. <clears throat> Meditate on the issue or the part of the body that may be problematic. Call upon the shaman to bring the eternal spirit, the divine healer to you and see or sense the powerful that is lifting you up, clearing the problem and bringing radiant light to you physically, mentally and emotionally. Ask this healing spirit to give guidance on what you can do to resolve the issue. Since the shaman often engages in ceremonial rituals, your process may be aided by lighting a candle, playing music, or burning incense or sage during your meditation. So this goes very powerfully with the very emotional card that we had earlier um, about the water just get that card it was emotions and processing and healing and now we have the shame and spirit with the eagle that the eagle totem is telling us to look at the wider view to rise above everything I know the eagle can fly above the storm and so its eyesight is so keen it asks that we look and we see with clarity as we're riding above the storm. So the shamanic card is very, very powerful to come out with this one. It helps us to ground 
and reminds us that we don't have to do this alone. We have ancestors, we have elders, we have guides, what universe, whatever source that we would like to give a name to, they are there for us and they're guiding us. And all we have to do is just quiet, center a little bit. Sometimes it's not easy to lift above the storm like the eagle, but we have to trust that the clarity can come. And sometimes that clarity doesn't come until after we've processed all the emotions we have to feel. And that's, that's hard because nobody wants to curl up in a ball sometimes or be angry. But the, the key to the clarity and the healing is moving that energy. And so both of these coming together today is very powerful because I feel like a lot of us right now are definitely in that space where we're, we're cleansing, we're healing, we're processing, we're moving through everything. And that's beautiful because that's what this journey is about. That's why we chose to come here. So I am very grateful for everybody listening today. And I hope in some way that this message from spirit can give a little inspiration. If it's emotional, whoops, sorry, it's upside down. If it's emotional and you're feeling it, just know that the healing is there, that we are the medicine, we are the healers, and we can do this. My love and blessings to everybody today.